Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today's a little bit different episode, quick one for you, but I wanted to show you kind of what happened during the burnout comp at the ice cream cruise. First one not so bad, but the second one got a little rough. But before I show you that, uh, I've never done this before on YouTube, but I do want to show you guys. I do have a little bit of merch. Got a hat here. They're actually on sale right now on buildtunerace.com. Uh, and then any order that comes through the website, I'm going to throw in. They're cheap, but they're great for the track. Not so worried if they get beat up. Some sunglasses that are built in race set up. Uh, so just a few things. I'm going to actually start doing more merch, so keep an eye on that. And uh, otherwise, let's get into what I wanted to talk about. So Bernie did amazing at the ice cream cruise. Everything is perfect. The engine is great. During the one uh, burnout, it got up to like, I think 218. It was starting to get close to 220, but high two teens, uh, which was Fantastic, cooled right back down, everything was great. Did the Aussie style, popped two tires, and I think it was about two minutes and 30 seconds. And then April ended up winning that comp, as you guys saw in the last video, or one of the last videos, uh, doing a burnout, standing still, burnout competition in a minute 30. And we started out with two brand new sets of tires, $100 for the set, they're cheap ones from Walmart. They're actually like what I run on the back of the Mazda. Um, and they worked out pretty well. But when she was doing the burnout comp, actually the tires blew up, got back, I was like, I need to clean off all that rubber. All that rubber that's on the side of the truck. Well, I did a whole bunch of scrubbing, and unfortunately, that is not a rubber patch, that is paint missing at this point. Uh, this is below this, so that was pretty crazy. Uh, belts are flying, as you guys can see on the tires here. They got, they got pretty rowdy blew some stuff up so i'm thinking that these right here the cords started coming apart or possibly like on this wheel here uh it starts shredding them and leaving these pieces out here i'm thinking that right there was starting to work its way around and pretty much just came across and just kept wiping the paint off and uh now we're left with a real real pretty beauty mark but that was the point in painting this quick and easy again shout out to trevor emotional tv if you guys haven't checked him out make sure you do but help me paint this thing in a couple days $100 paint job more or less, and I kind of messed it up, but I'd be real sad if this was a really good paint job, so now you guys kind of understand why I went this way. Also, again, Bernie was designed to have a bed, so then when this stuff happens or something gets crinkled in, something like this when the tire came apart, it actually ended up bending this all the way in here, uh, thanks to this little rod here. But you guys can see this, that should be straight, and it absolutely is not straight anymore. Pretty crazy. But uh, it bent this whole little panel in, so it busted it, threw it everywhere. A little bit of destruction happened to the side of the truck here, but that's all right. Um, one other thing that happened, if we can look down in here. So as, as this was starting to come apart, you guys can see right here, it started to tear the metal. So there's probably not a lot longer that this is going to hang in there. So I'm not sure what I might have to do to, you know, fix this at some point or whatever's hanging in there, but uh, not bad for that point. I know a lot of the people that build some of these skid vehicles, they'll actually do an offset wheel, suck it into the body, so then when it comes apart, it doesn't destroy the outside of the truck or car or the fender or whatever it is. Uh, so my play with some of that, I'm not sure, but that's some stuff I'm looking at in the future. So could kind of give me you guys just a little idea of what we're, what we're coming up with. I mean, skids or burnouts in America are not a huge popular sport, but I definitely see it becoming one. What an amazing time when you do a big burnout and thousands of people cheer whenever you get done. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool, awesome experience. I know of a few other people are wanting to build one. And just trying to show you guys kind of what I've learned through this. These here now, got another fresh set for the next time we go out with it. But that is actually some old trailer tires that I have. So uh, we'll see how those do on the back here. Just more or less taking on old tires that are still got some life left, but maybe weather crack or whatever. Try to save some money and not have to buy a brand new set every time other than maybe on big competitions. But that was kind of it. On the other side, Bernie really didn't have any issues. It didn't really tear anything up. It was mostly this side here and there uh, is the damage that we incurred during the burnouts. But that's, that's what it was designed for. I think, you know, you grab some stickers. I had one over here somewhere. Good old, might need a bigger one, but take a good old Motion Racework sticker or something else, slap it on there and we'll, we'll cover up the, the issue. But uh, a little band-aid and send it again. But I just want to show you guys that. I thought it was kind of interesting what happened. I got home, I was like, yeah, I'll just clean that off. You know, be back to nice, good paint. Not so much, but also single stage. I could, I could repaint that real quick and kind of, you know, sand this and patch it, but it's just going to happen again. So something to keep in mind, if you guys are looking to build something like Burnout, style uh or even if you're in your own vehicle and you plan on popping a set of tires in it 
be aware that you can definitely do some damage to the body, but it's actually pretty fun. Uh, but you know, you gotta decide if that's what you wanna do. The other things on Bernie, like I said, everything went fantastic. Everything's pretty much ready to go. Other than when I was shifting into second, it still wanted to bog down. I look back at the tune, I could probably lean it out a little bit, try to help it, but I can be revving this at 7,000 RPM on the limiter, shift, and it'll drag it down to like 33, 3,400 RPM and just bog it right there. It's like there's a super tight spot in the converter. I bought the converter secondhand. It was actually like way too loose in a Turbo LS build, but I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do there. So now, to uh, go ahead and cure that, I'll probably play with the tune a little bit, try to figure out some stuff there, but we do have a little surprise. I'm gonna show you guys that now. Alrighty guys, so here it is. The new NX kit, a little surprise, and this is gonna be going on Bernie to help with that little bit of underpower issue that I got. So either way, I know I can spray it and get it past that little tight spot in the converter. There's probably some other things, but I, why not? It gives me a reason to throw nitrous on something, I'm gonna do it. So. We got nitrous here, it's gonna go on, it's a 4150 plate, but we're definitely gonna get into this more in the next video, uh, or one of the next videos on Bernie. I'll do a whole install. I'm actually gonna do a dry kit and try to play with some of the dry tuning and stuff in the Holly. It's something I wanted to play with, that you see all the big 900 inch motors and everything else running four stages of dry nitrous. Well, this is in a sense a similar idea, just a single stage or there might be a second stage. We'll, we'll find out here, but um, Gonna play with that, get that installed, play with the tuning on it, and then what I'm, my plan is is kinda to set up some safeties, but then have it on a button. So whenever I go to shift and it wants to bog, grab the button, try to get it past that. Maybe, it, maybe it's underpowered and it needs that all the way through, but maybe if I just get it past the converter and it can rev to, you know, five, six, seven, five hundred RPM, uh, will be good and clear through that tight spot. So just some stuff I still gotta play with to really dial in burning. It still kills tires, it still does amazing, but I really wanna make this thing a real competitive truck in something like the Cletus and Car Burnout Comps, the Hoonigan stuff that they might be doing, an LS Fest Burnout Comp or whatever this thing might end up at. So that's a little look into the future of burning. We're gonna be throwing a nitrous kit on it and I can't wait to play with this thing. All right guys, so we had an issue with the outro. Here is one for ya. Good old skid pad burnout from the Ice Cream Cruise. I hope you guys enjoyed the burning content. If you want to see more of it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.